course, D.J. Humphreys lost to the season week 10 with that knee injury. And Larry Fitzgerald still doing it 14 years in the league. Defense, I should say, in tackles. And Jalen Ramsey, of course, question mark, told reporters on Friday that he would not play today after he jammed his left hand in practice. Get going. He can easily make that first guy miss. Great run. Sixth game played for Peterson with Arizona since so coming over in the trade from New Orleans in early October. Gabbard's first down pass high intended for Fitzgerald. And what a matchup, Adam, between those two. Fitzgerald and Jalen Ramsey, two of the best at their position. And Fitzgerald, of course, the future Hall of Famer. Uh, and Fitzgerald is really the Cardinals' passing game. He's the most reliable receiver. He's the do-it-all receiver. He's the guy that has a great comfort level with Blaine Gabbert. Now, Jacksonville normally doesn't travel their corners. In this game, Jalen Ramsey is going to play more on Larry Fitzgerald. In man coverage outside against Zoom. Spent a lot of hours just so he could be ready for this moment. That pass deflected and actually caught by Larry Fitzgerald. It was Yannick Ngakwe, the second year stud at that defensive end position, getting his big mid on it. And it will be third down, actually, loss of two. And a really nice reaction right here by Ngakwe. You know, they like to get Larry Fitzgerald involved in the screen game early because of the consistency issues that they've had with their wide receivers. He's the guy they know if we get him involved, get some screens early, put us in a good down and distance, usually it works out for the... Some of your angles and keys going into the game. Yeah, and this is the matchups. Largely, they're staying away from Larry Fitzgerald, who was targeted 10 times last week and had seven re receptions. The reason why Jalen Ramsey is there, but also Blaine Gabbard is having a lot of success going to his tight ends, really working the inside, getting the matchups on linebackers and the safeties, and getting the ball out of his hands very quickly. Blaine Gabbard had an exceptional first half, finding his other options. Here come the Jags on the blitz. Cardinals pick it up nicely. Gabbard's pass over the middle is caught by Fitzgerald. That'll be his third reception of the day as they have held him under wraps till this point. Jalen Ramsey has got the better of the matchup at least till this point. And on fourth down, Bruce Arians will send out his punt unit. This will try to extend it to a seven-point lead. They throw it towards the end zone. Does Gabbard? It's caught. Fitzgerald for the two-point conversion. And how big is that? Arizona with a quick answer. 50 yards. So still a ways away. Gabbard's pass incomplete. Intended for Fitzgerald once again working against Jalen Ramsey and it will be third and three coming up Now you can see Jacksonville being much more aggressive everybody lined up in press coverage inside Because they know they have about 13 yards right now a field that they have to defend Which is the outer ranges of Josh Lambeau the field goal kicker student Drescher is the snapper and Lee the holder this one is on target and it is good Wow. One second left. Well, onside kick it here, Puzlesny. Now pitch it back. Now this is Corey Grant. This is the man they want to have it in his hands. As they try to keep it alive here. This is Mickens. That's a live football. And that will do it. The Arizona Cardinals win it here in week 12 on the right leg of Phil Dawson.